Hi everyone. Uh, this class is going to be a roughly a half an hour Pilates class using a TheraBand or a stretchy elastic band like this. It doesn't really matter what strength it is, uh, but in terms of length you probably want it to be at least maybe a meter if not more uh, long. And it makes some exercises easier and it makes some more challenging. So I'll explain it to you as we go along. We're going to start uh, by lying your Bend flat on your mat, down the midline of your mat. So leave a little bit of it past the top of your mat where your head will be, and the rest of it just try and get it as flat as possible down the center. And once you've done that, you're going to sit on it, your pelvis, lay yourself down, trying to aim for the band to be sort of underneath your spine. And then at the top end, your head will rest right in the center of the band. There should be some extra band beyond the top of your head that you've left. So take hold of that between your thumb and your index finger, try and keep it flat, and then pull it sort of north or beyond your head first of all, and then pull it straight up towards the ceiling so you feel that band coming around the back of your head. And if you just lift a little bit, you should feel like the weight of your head is being taken by the band. So you can relax the muscles of your neck a little bit more. This is a lovely way to learn the, the true feeling of what the, the spine curl or ab curve exercise should feel like. So start with a big breath in. Then on your exhale, pull your band forwards, almost towards your knees. Allow your chin to tuck onto, to tuck onto your chest, and then allow the upper body to roll up. Now you should be able to come a little bit higher than you normally do. At this point, really engage the tummy muscles. So draw the belly button in, flatten across the tummy, pull in towards the spine, hold it for another breath, and then very slowly allow your spine to roll back down onto the mat. So that's always a cue we use in Pilates, one vertebra at a time. Doing it this way, we'll go for number two, exhale to curl up. You get the sense of that feeling a lot more. Good, coming up a little bit higher than you normally do, flatten the tummy at the top, take a breath in, and then exhale and slowly roll all the way back down. We're gonna do three more. On your exhale, curling up. So your aim with the hands is kind of forward putting a little bit of tension on the band to help lift the weight of the head and then slowly lower yourself down. And if you have any neck issues and your neck ever gives you trouble in Pilates classes, this is a lovely way of doing any of these types of exercises. It really gives the emphasis to the abdominals and leaves the neck out of it. And last one coming up, exhale to curl. And then inhale to lower back down. Okay. All right, so from there you can take your band out from underneath you. We're gonna go into just a couple of easy stretches. So take your band, hook it underneath your right foot, take that leg up into the air, flatten the left leg. Use your band to pull the foot up and back, just getting a nice comfortable stretch into the hamstring, into the calf. And then bring your left arm out to the side, take this leg away from the body, out to the right hand side, getting a stretch down the inside of the leg. We'll keep these quite brief since it's only a half hour class. So come back up to the center, switch the band into your opposite hand, so band into the left arm, right arm out to the side, and take that leg across your body. You can bend it if you like, if it's more comfortable, or keep it straight, coming into that twist, finding the stretch. And then from there, come all the way back up to the center. Nice and simple, switching over to the other side. So hook the band under your left foot, take it up into the air, use as much tension or as little tension as you like to find the stretch that's comfortable. Try and get the right leg, the opposite leg, flat on the mat. And then bring your right arm out to the side, take this leg away from the body, find the stretch into the groin, into the adductors. And then come back up through the center, switch the band into the other hand, into the right arm, uh, bring the left arm out to the side and cross the midline coming into a twist. Again, just using your band to give you maybe a little bit more reach than you normally would get in this pose. You can bend the knee if you prefer, or have it straight. And then bring yourself all the way back up to the center. Okay, from here we're going to go into our first abdominal exercise. We're going to do the 100 with the legs in tabletop. So 
Draw the lower belly in, press the lower back towards the mat, bring the two knees to 90 degrees, and then take your band and lay it over the top of your shin, so there's roughly half uh, the length on either side hanging down, and take either side between your thumb and your forefinger. So you're wanting to try and keep your wrist straight and your fingers straight, and you're gripping it in that web space. All right, so if you hold the band closer to your shins, the amount of tension you're pulling against will be greater. If you hold it lower down here, it'll be less. So you decide the amount of tension you want. Take a breath. On your exhale, bring your chin to your chest, peel your spine up, reach your arms forward, and then start to pump the arms up and down. Start slow, pumping five times for the inhale and five times for the exhale. Now, if you find your shins are starting to bob up and down with you, try and set them in position. So you're working against the resistance of the band, and the band is pulling on the legs, but you're resisting that with the strength of everything you've got. Keep the chin tucked, keep looking forward, keep pumping from the shoulders. And if you're finding that that's easier and you can add a little bit more pace, you can start to make it a little bit quicker without losing that control, without wobbling up and down. Keep those legs nice and strong. Keep flattening across the belly. We're going for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower down, pull the knees into the chest. Okay, from there, we're going to roll around onto our tummies. So take the band out to the top of your mat. I'm going to roll this way. Lay down on your front. <clears throat> and then reach your arms forward and hold the band again between your thumb and your index finger. So for this exercise, as with all of them actually, the closer you hold the hands together, the more tension there's going to be, the further apart the hands are, the more slack the band will be. So don't overdo it with this one in particular. All right, so you've got the arms roughly shoulder distance apart, forehead down on the ground. Start by engaging the lower belly, lift the tummy away from the mat, and then pick up your forehead, your chest, and your two arms. Hover above the ground. And on your exhale, open the two arms out to the Y shape, so about a 45 degree angle. And then slowly allow the recoil of the band to pull them all the way back in. And again, open the two arms out, keep hovering just above the ground. And inhale, bring them back in parallel. And last one, we're only doing three. So opening the two hands, stretching the band nice and long. Bring the arms back in and slowly lower back to the ground. So if you need to reposition your hands on the band for the next two sets, do that. Again, you don't want to be opening the arms all the way out to the T. You're only aiming for a 45 degree angle and an appropriate amount of tension. So you shouldn't feel any pain in the shoulder in this exercise. Okay, second set. Belly button in, lifting your forehead, your chest and your arms. And again, opening out for one and slowly allowing the arms to come back in. And two. And last one, three. Bring the arms all the way back to parallel and lower to your mat. And then third and final set, draw the belly button in, engage, lift your forehead, your chest, your arms and open the two arms to your Y shape, come back to your eye. Two more of those. Just working against enough resistance that you feel a challenge, but it's not overdoing it. Third one and come down onto the ground. Well done. Pressing back onto hands and knees. We're going to bring the two legs out in front of us for this next one. Okay, and we're going to take the band behind our back. So you're going to bring the middle of the band onto your spine and then take it underneath the two armpits almost and out to either side. Sort of like you would have a towel as if you were drying yourself after a shower. And then again, grip the band between your thumb and your index finger. Our, uh, legs straight out in front of you, chest up, shoulders down. And then stretch your arms wide, coming into that T shape. So again, have an appropriate amount of tension on the band. You want to find that you're able to drop your shoulders down and lift your chest. So it's all about posture. And then keeping that exact same shape twisting to your left and then inhale coming back to the center there's not a huge amount of movement and rotating to your right exhale as you go inhale coming back to the center and keep going so keeping the two arms in line with the body in line with the torso 
that band is giving you an idea of where the straight line is. So you're not allowing your hands to drift forward, you're keeping them wide. Good, inhale, come back to the center, keep the shoulders down. Ring the air out of the lungs every time you twist. Keep lifting through the crown of your head, make the movement as smooth as possible. Put a little bend in your knees if you need to allow yourself to lift up a little bit taller. Got one more on either side. Exhale to rotate. Inhale, center, and last one. Good, coming back into the middle. Very nice, okay. We're gonna go into a sitting, ex uh, sorry, a kneeling exercise from there. So coming onto your right knee, bring your left leg out to the side and hook the band under your left foot. So with this one, the closer you hold the two ends of the band to the foot, the more assistance the band will give you. So this, using the band is gonna make this exercise a little bit easier. There's less work for the glutes to do because you're bearing some of the weight of the leg in your hand with your band. So if you wanted to not give you too much assistance, keep it quite slack. All right, so you decide where you wanna work. Take your right arm out to the side, all the way out until it comes down onto the ground and this left leg lifts. Okay, so we're gonna start with 10 leg circles, keeping the circles quite small. So as you can feel, there's a little bit of a spring in that movement because the recoil of the band is helping you to keep that leg up there. Good, and eight, nine, 10. Now reverse the direction. 10, same exercise, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, and I should have said, keep that left hand just resting on your waist so it's not moving with you. Two and one. Now, keep the leg parallel to the floor and kick it forward. You should be able to come further forward than you normally do in this exercise and take it all the way back in line with you. That's one, we're going for five. So again, kick the leg forward. If you need more help from the band, you can hold it closer to the foot and carry on. And three, still a glute exercise. So you should still feel like there's a bit of effort. Four, but maybe you've just got a little bit more range of movement than usual. And last one, five. Take it back and bring it down. Well done. Okay, switching over to the second side. So hooking the band under the right foot, holding where you think it's going to be the right amount of assistance. Left arm goes out to the side, bring it down to the mat, let your right leg lift. And then start with your circles, keeping them nice and controlled. Trying to keep that height off the ground. So the band is helping you do that. And if you normally find your legs starting to be tired in this exercise, you've got a bit of help. And four, three, two, and one. And then reverse the direction. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, kicking it forward for one and all the way back, and two, keep lifting, I'm going to just change my band grip a little bit more there, and three, two more, four, and last side kick, five, and bring it back, and come down, I'm struggling with that one, okay, lying all the way down onto your back again, <clears throat> Before you lie down, take the middle of your band and this time put your toes right in the center. So have a little bit of band curling under the toes and a little bit curling over the top. So you're sort of pointing them into the middle of the width of the band. And then lay yourself down onto your back. Pull your knees into your chest and hug them in using the band. So again, the closer you hold to your feet, the more tension, the further away, the easier it will be. All right, take a breath in. As you exhale, curl your head and shoulders up, lift your two feet up into the air, stretching against the tension of the band, pull the knees in and lower down. And just one more of those, just to get the feel for how much resistance you want. So if the band still feels very slack, walk your hands closer to your feet. If it feels like it's not giving any resistance at all, then bring your hands further down. Oh, sorry, the other way around. <laughs> Okay, so breathe in, on your exhale, curl your head and shoulders up, take the two feet straight up into the air. On your next out breath, take the legs down, keeping them straight, keeping the belly button in, keeping the lower back on the ground. When you find that that's enough, bend the knees in towards your chest and lower your head back down. Inhale, exhale, curl up and lift the feet. Breathe in, 
Exhale to take the two legs down, stretching into the band so you may be able to go lower than normal. Bend the knees back in towards you and lower your head down. I'm going to do three more. Exhale to curl up, inhale. Exhale to lower the two legs, pull the knees in. Take your head back to the mat, inhale. Exhale, curl up and lift the feet at the same time. Then next out breath, take the two legs down. Pull the knees in and lower back to the ground. Last one, on your exhale, curl up, lifting the feet. Take them down towards the ground, bend the knees into your chest and lower back to the mat. All right, we're gonna keep going with the same exercise, one subtle difference. So same start, on your exhale, curl up, lift the feet. Now as you inhale, Take the two legs down, keep them straight. Now as you exhale, bring them straight back up, bend them and lower your head. So no bending of the knees this time. Exhale to curl up, lifting the feet. Inhale the legs down, find the point at which you can still bring them back up again, keeping them straight and lower back to the mat. Three more of those. On your exhale, curl the head, lift the legs. Inhale to take the two legs down. Exhale, bring them back up again, bend the knees and lower. Two more. Elbows are staying glued to your mat on either side of the body. Last one. And all the way back down. Okay. So from there, we're going to come into a kneeling position. So you're going to put one foot in front and one knee down. So we're going to start with my left foot out in front, right knee down, and you're going to take your band, take the middle of it, and put it underneath that left foot, so you're securing it to the ground, and then bring both ends up, and make, uh, interlace your fingers and hold the two ends of the band in your grip, so you're sort of making a, um, not a fist as such, but you're interlacing the hands and holding strongly enough that the two ends aren't going to slide out from inside your grip. And then straighten the two arms out in front of you, drop your shoulders down. Get your balance here. We're going to do a rotational exercise, trying to keep the arms exactly where they are. So centered in front of your chest, lining up with your sternum, elbows locked straight, breathe in, exhale, twist to your right. You're going to be going against the tension of the band at a certain point in your twist. Inhale, come back to the center, let the band guide you. And then exhale, twist the other way to your left. Inhale, come all the way back to the center. And again, exhale, right. Good, inhale, middle. Exhale, left. Trying to keep those arms as straight as possible. Don't let the elbows bend. Two more in either direction. Exhale, try and find as much rotation as you can before you come back to the middle. A bit more limited that way. And one more in either direction. Finding your balance, even while you allow the upper body that movement. Good, back to the center, and release. Okay, switching sides. So with your right foot in the center of the band, holding onto the two ends, interlacing the fingers, making sure we've got a strong grip. This time we're going to the left first. Breathe in, exhale, twisting left, twisting from the center of your body, from the rib cage and the waist. Inhale, back to the middle. Shoulders stay down, exhale, twisting right. Inhale, center. Keep going. Trying to lock those arms out, hold them up in front of you. That's part of the challenge. Two more in either direction. Bringing as much range of movement to this exercise as you can without losing your balance. And last one. And exhale. Come back to the center and release. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go back into our sitting position. Legs straight out in front of you. And then this time, sitting up nice and tall, take your band and hook the end, or the middle of it, should I say, under both the feet. And for this one, hold quite close to the feet. So you want a little bit of tension. There's quite a lot of slack, or quite a lot of extra length of band on either side. And then use the band to help you lift a little bit taller. So where you might find it quite challenging to sit up straight with the legs out in front of you, and you can have the knees bent if you need, use the band to help pull your chest forward, roll your shoulder blades back. And then we're gonna add another rotation to this exercise. So start with your right arm, 
bend the elbow and pull that elbow back. As you do that, twist to the right and allow the left arm to reach forward down the center line, like a bow and arrow kind of action. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, pull back with the left elbow, stretch the right arm forward, twist as you do. Inhale, come back to the center. And then keep going. So you're squeezing one shoulder blade back, pulling back with that elbow, reaching the other arm nice and straight. Inhaling to return to the middle. And most importantly, you're keeping that length all the way down the spine as you do this exercise. So lifting through the crown of the head, lifting your chest forward and up as you perform the movement. Good, two more in either direction. Keep the bend in the knees if you need and try and find as much rotation as you can without losing that posture. Shoulders down. And last one. And inhale, coming all the way back to the center, very nice. Okay, from here we're gonna go down onto our band again, oh, sorry, onto our back again. And we're gonna do one leg circles. So taking the band under your right foot, bringing both ends into your right hand, left leg is gonna go flat, right elbow is gonna be bent and on the mat just by your side. So holding with as much or as little tension as you feel appropriate. We're gonna be making giant circles with this Foot. So start by taking it out to the right hand side, circle it down towards the ground, cross the midline to the other side, and back up. We've got two more in that direction. Giant circles in the hip joint. Very nice. And last one. Now switch the direction. So cross the midline, take it over to the left, down, and back around. And just two more in that direction. And three. Good. And switching over. So another exercise where the band is making it a little bit easier than normal, helping to take some of the weight of the leg. So band both ends on your left hand, elbow down by your side, right arm on the other side. Start by taking this leg out to the left, down towards the other foot, cross over and back. Making as big a circle as you can in that hip socket. And three. Good, and then switching over, crossing the midline, taking it out to the side and back. Try and keep the movement smooth. Two, and last one, and back. Okay, so the next exercise is a variation of the double leg stretch. So once again, you're gonna point the two toes into the band, trying to get a good grip so it's not gonna come flying off. And then this time, instead of holding the band this way, you're going to hold in, we call it either the microphone grip or the ice cream grip, as if you were holding the cone of an ice cream or a microphone. So it's going to be in your fist. Elbows are going to start down by your side, knees right close to your chest. So you need quite a lot of length in the band for this one, so hold it right on the two ends. Okay, breathe in. As you exhale, curl your head and shoulders up away from the ground. Now, at the same time, extend your legs away from your diagonally and take the arms up overhead. You may straighten them, you may not. And then pull the knees and the elbows all the way back in to that little ball shape. So how far you go with the legs and the arms will depend on the strength and the length of your band. Try not to have any, any accidents where it goes flying off you or, it's, or it splits. <laughs> Try and gauge how much tension there is. But again, this exercise is normally really challenging, but here the band is helping with the weight of the leg and the arms. Keep the tummy flattening, keep the chin tucked to the chest. Two more. And last one. Very nice. Okay. From here, you're going to keep the band in that same position. You're going to place the two feet down onto the ground so the knees are bent. <clears throat> and then we'll start with just resting the head on the ground. So I'm going to use this opportunity uh, to do some physio type exercises for, for shoulder issues. So a lot of shoulder problems come from uh, weakness in the rotator cuff. And a lot of the rotator cuff exercises tend to focus on external rotation of the shoulders. So we're just going to take this opportunity since you have the band and you're in position to do some of those. Uh, so your feet are securing the band down, you've got one end in either hand, and again you're going to take that microphone grip, 
And then depending on how your shoulders feel, because this might be a little bit uh, uncomfortable for some people, bring the elbows away from the body a little bit with a 90 degree angle at your elbow. The exercise itself is going to be rolling the arms back as if you were taking your thumbs towards the ground. So you open the two arms out to either side and then coming back. So you're keeping that 90 degree angle at your elbow and you're taking your forearm back as if you're going to place, place the back of your hand on the ground, leading with your thumb and then slowly coming back up to 90 degrees. So the closer in towards your body the elbows are, the easier the exercise is. The further away from your body the elbows are, so if you bring them all the way out to 90 degrees and then go back that way, now not only are you working against more resistance, it's also a little bit more complex in movement. You've abducted your shoulder and now you're adding that external rotation. So really just make it appropriate for you. And you might find this feels different in one shoulder to the other. If you've had a shoulder that's often giving you trouble, this might not be the good place to start. So bring the elbows in or leave it out entirely. It should never cause pain, but it should be challenging, particularly by the time you get to the end of the set. So maybe number eight, nine, or 10. So we'll do another three from here. Keeping the shoulder blades down on the ground, trying not to let the shoulder pop forward like that. Two more. And last one. Very nice. And then from there, bring your elbows in towards you. Keeping the elbows bent, press into the feet and slowly roll your hips, your pelvis, your lower spine, your middle spine up into a bridge position. And then holding your bridge, take your arms straight up towards the ceiling and then reach back with the two hands. Again, the how far you reach will depend on the length and the amount of tension in your band. Slowly bring your arms back up to vertical and that's where we're going to reach. We're going to hold it. So keep yourself in the bridge position. We're doing one bridge, but we're doing six repetitions of this movement. Stretching the band away and coming back up. Three more. Can you lift your hips a little bit higher? Keep the feet down so you're really securing the band on the ground. And last one. Go bring the arms up and then slowly lower your pelvis all the way back down onto the ground. Okay, very nice. From there, rolling around onto your tummy and as you go, bring your band across your lower back. So you're going to be prone on your mat, the middle of your band will be roughly in the centre of your spine and you'll just drape it over the lower back like that. And then the hand position for this one is, is uh, important. So start with your arms down by your side, you can have your forehead on the ground, and then roll your shoulders back and turn your thumbs to point out with your palm down. So the palm is flat, thumbs are pointing away from your body, little finger is by your side. With that position, take hold of your band. Try not to have it too tight at this point. You can see where we're going with this. All right, so with your forehead on the ground, start by engaging your belly button. Roll your shoulders back, so squeeze your shoulder blades together and lift your forehead and your chest off the ground. And now just as much as you're comfortable with, open the two arms out to either side, stretching your band wide. At the very most, you'll come in line with the two arms, so making the T-shape. And then slowly allow the band to encourage you all the way back. And again, opening out, making sure the amount of tension you're working against or resistance is appropriate, you're not causing any shoulder pain. Keep hovering. We're doing one set of these. We're going for eight. So keep the forehead off the ground. Keep the upper body lifting. Belly button engaged. And three more. Good. So you're kind of leading that exercise with your thumbs. The thumbs should still be pointing away from the body. And last one. And then lower all the way back down onto the ground. Well done. <clears throat> okay. So from here, we're going to go into some rolling up and down to finish. So we're going to start with the, the simplest version. Two straight legs out in front of you, band underneath the two legs, and you're holding onto the band. So if you're one of those people who find the roll up a little bit challenging and you, know, you can never quite roll back up or alternatively on your way down if you always find you get to a point and then you kind of drop, 
this is a really good way of training this exercise of kind of preparing the body for it. So with the band underneath the two feet, once again, if you hold closer to the feet, it's giving you a lot of tension. So it'll be a lot to pull against on the way down, but the recoil on the way back up will be stronger and therefore more of a help. So if you need a lot of assistance on the way up, hold the band close to the feet with a lot of extra length. If you don't need that much assistance, hold it further away. And then lift your chest, roll your shoulder blades down your back, try and keep your arms straight for the duration of the exercise so you're not pulling on the band, the band is just assisting you. Breathe in. And then on your exhale, curl your chin onto your chest, round your spine, and slowly roll yourself all the way down. For this one, just allow your arms to come down by your side. All right, so from here, inhale, tuck your chin onto your chest, reach your arms forward, and then again, without bending the elbows, just allow that recoil of the band to assist you gently in coming all the way back up to neutral. Let's try a couple more of those. Exhale and round, and slowly roll yourself all the way down. Try and keep the two feet flat on the ground. And then inhale to initiate your roll up. Exhale, let the band gently help you all the way up to neutral. We'll go for two more of those. Try not to pull with the elbows, you know, so keep the elbows straight, arms reaching straight out in front of you. Okay, now if you're finding that's really good and it's helpful to your practice, then keep practicing that one. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, hook the two toes, or oh, two feet, ten toes, into your band and bring the two legs up to 90 degrees. So now we're going to do a roll down from here, okay? So the elbows might be a little bit bent for this one because we don't have as much room. But on your exhale, round your spine, leave your legs where they are and slowly roll yourself down onto the mat. Now breathe in, tuck your chin onto your chest, exhale and roll all the way back up, allowing the band to help you. Inhale, exhale, curl in, chin onto your chest and slowly roll down onto the mat. Inhale, chin to chest, exhale, reach forward and let that gentle recoil of the band help with that little extra lift. Let's try two more. Very nice, and last one, rounding and slowly coming down, leaving the feet where they are. Whoops, <laughs> and coming all the way back up, okay. And then last challenge for this class is to do the same exercise with your legs a bit straighter. So from that same position, now try and straighten the two feet out in front of you. Okay, breathe in, exhale round and slowly bring yourself all the way down. So the teaser from Pilates. Now look at your feet, reach your hands towards them and let the band help you come up. Let's just try two more of those. Rounding, slowly coming down so you can feel that pull on the band. Look at the feet and lift up, let the band help you. Bring the hands, whoops, to meet the feet. And last one, exhale round, slowly rolling down. And then keep reaching the feet away. And exhale to come all the way up, bring the feet down to the ground. Well done. I'm gonna leave it there. If you wanna practice any more of those, you're welcome. Or if you wanna finish with a Shavasana like you would a yoga class, or just a couple of stretches like we normally would in class, feel free. Thanks for practicing.